Hi, I'm Olivier Tremois, Technical Marketing for the A-Engine Tools. In this video, I would like to give you some details about the subset of the A-Engine architecture, the fixed point vector unit pipeline and the concept of flame processing. The Versal A-CAP A-Engine architecture manual, numbered AM009, contains all the information that you need about the A-Engine architecture. But in this video, I will explain the fixed point vector unit pipeline and how it can be controlled with the A-Engine intrinsics. The A-Engine processor contains actually three compute units. The 32-bit scalar unit, which is a RISC processor, the 512-bit SIMD fixed point vector unit, and the 512-bit SIMD floating point vector unit. To perform some computations, you need data which are gathered and distributed thanks to the two loads and one store address generator units. Local storage of the vector data occurs in the vector register files, which is common to the two vector units. The program of the A-Engine processor is stored in the 16 kilobyte program memory. It stores very long instruction words, up to 128 bits, which contains up to 7 instructions targeting various parts of the processor. Scalar unit, vector unit, memory, streams, and so on. Basic hardware vector registers are 128 bit wide. These are the V registers. Two V regs can be grouped into 256 bit W register. Further grouping of W registers makes 512 bit X registers. Then X groups make 1024 bit registers. Note that YD LSBs come from XD and MSBs come from XB. Accumulator registers are used to store the results of the vector data path. AM registers are 384 bit wide and can contain 8 vector lanes of 48 bits. This is enough to handle 16 by 16 bit multiplication and accumulation results without bit overflow. An AM register can also contain 4 times 80 bit registers. Two AM registers can be bundled to form 768 bit BM register. The A engine processor can support many different bit precision operations. Real by real would give a real result. Real by complex or complex by complex would give a complex output. The bit width of the output depends actually on the bit width of both input operands. The fixed point vector unit contains three separate and largely independent data paths. Multiply accumulate path, upshift path, shift round saturate. Today, we will concentrate on the multiply accumulate path. This path reads values from vector registers, permutes them in a user controllable manner, performs optional pre adding, multiplies them, and after some post adding, accumulates them to the previous value of the accumulator register. PMXL permutes the data from the vector registers for the left input of the pre adder pra. PMXR permutes the data from the vector registers for the right input of the pre adder PRA or alternatively for the input of the YMX unit. The input of these permute blocks can be XA or XD and XB. The granularity of these permute blocks is 32 bits. PMC permutes the data from the vector registers for the input of the YMX unit. Granularity is 16 bits. PRA pre-adds or pre-subtracts the PMXL and PMXR outputs to form the first multiplier argument. Additionally, some restricted permute takes place to compensate for the 32-bit granularity of the PMXL and PMXR units. YMX implements special operations such as inserting the constant 1 to multiply the pre adder result with the 1 or sign extending the individual lanes. Additionally, some restricted permute takes place to compensate for the 32-bit granularity of the PMXR unit. MPY multiplies the PRA and YMX outputs on a vector element by element basis. In the case of a 16 by 16 bit real multiplication, there are 32 elements in the vector. So the output of the multiply block is a vector of 32 elements. Each element is called a lane. 
PSA is the first post-adding stage that reduces the 32 multiply output lane to 16 lanes. PSB is a second post-adding stage that further reduces the lanes to 8. Alternatively, it forwards the input to the output. PSA and PSB may contain more post-adding stages for smaller bit width cases. ACM multiplexes the data that is to be added to the post-adder output between old accumulator value, the output of the upshift path, and the cascade stream input. ACK adds or subtracts the ACM and PSB outputs. Let's detail the lane reduction process starting from the multiplier input. Let's use a simple case, a 16-bit real by 16-bit real multiply accumulate. The result of the multiplication block is a vector of element by element multiplication, D0, C0, D1, C1, and so on, up to D31, C31. There exists some intrinsics that do not use the PSA, PSB stages. These are the MUL and MAC intrinsics, which perform only the lane by lane multiplication. There are two flavors of accumulator registers, 8 and 16 lanes of 48 bit accumulators. In the case of 16 by 16 bit real, it means that the input vectors must be either 8 or 16 lanes, meaning that the multiply stage is only used partially. The PSA and PSB blocks perform a lane reduction using multi stages of the tree. In the case of a 16 by 16 bit real, PSA and PSB perform a one stage of the tree dividing by two the number of lanes in each block. The intrinsics that use the PSA and PSB blocks are the one where you specify the output number of lanes as in MUL8 or MUL16. These kind of intrinsics are interesting for multiplication accumulation operations as in fur filters and matrix operations. As there is already some accumulation performed within PSA and PSB, you can use completely the multiply stage while keeping a reasonable number of output lanes, or you can mitigate the number of data that you need to load from memory using efficiently the permute blocks at the beginning of the pipeline. Thank you for watching this video on fixed point vector pipeline and lane processing on the A engine. That's all folks, see you on another video.